Hello everyone and welcome back to Just With Eminem. Today we will see the game 2 of the final round of the finals of Lander's Appy Rabbit Challenge on Chess 24 between uh, Hikaru Nakamura and Daniel Dubov. Now this is the game 2. As we know, Hikaru Nakamura won the round 1 and Dubov won the round 2. The, so this round will decide who will win the tournament. So without wasting any time, let's check out this game. The game 2. Nakamura with the white pieces and Dubov with the black pieces. Nakamura opened this game by e4, the king's pawn opening. c5 by Dubov, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, and now g6, the accelerated dragon. d4, the open Sicilian. C capture on d4, knight capture on d4, and now bishop to g7 attacking the knight on the d4 twice. Bishop to e3 guarding the pawn, uh, sorry, the knight on the uh, d4, and now knight to f6 developing uh, the, the other knight and, the, and preparing to castle. Bishop to, to c4 developing the bishop into the a2 g8 diagonal, castles by Dubov, and now bishop back to b3. Prophylactic move because the bishop on the c4 is unprotected move, always a5, a6, and b5, also e6 and d5 comes on this bishop, also. When, the, when this rook comes to the semi-open uh, C file, uh, then it will be so dangerous for this bishop. So bishop back to b3, a prophylactic idea by Nakamura. Uh, after bishop back to e3, here the most played moves is uh, d6, our a6, or something like queen to c7, or to, or to a5. But here Nakamura played this idea and this rook to e8. Rook to e8, preparing to pushing e6, our e5, with d6, our d5 in the future. So after rook to e8, Knight capture on c6 now by Nakamura, uh, d capture on c6, and now uh, h3 by uh, Nakamura. Nakamura here says to Dubov, if you, if you want to capture on the d1, I have no problem, I will recapture by the rook, developing my rook. And Dubov uh, uh, declined that uh, offer and he played a queen to c7. Queen to c7, I want to bring my rook to the uh, d8 to attack your queen, okay? After queen to c7, Nakamura here pushed f4. f4, I want to grab more space on the king side. All, also, maybe f5 and e5 will be a nice idea in the future to attack your uh, your king on the g8. So here after f4, Dubov pushed b5. Dubov said to Nakamura, as you push f4, uh, I will push b5, a5, a4, b4, and I will grab my space on the queen side too. So after b5 here, Nakamura pushed e5. Okay, e5 attacking the knight uh, on the f6, and now uh, instead moving this knight away here, Dubov played uh, b4, okay? b4 attacking the knight, and the knight on the c3, and the idea here if you capture uh, e capture on f6, then pawn capture on f6 comes. Pawn capture on f6 attacking the, ro the bishop on the e3, also your knight on the c3. The best move here is playing something like queen to f3 guarding your bishop, but then uh, b capture on c3 comes, and after b capture on c3, now f5 comes. f5 attacking uh, the pawn on the c3, and this move uh, comes with a check on your king, also with an attack on your rook. So the best move here for the white is castles, but uh, then bishop capture on c3 comes, and by this the white will be up a pawn also the uh, the white uh, sorry the black will be up a pawn also the white's rook is under attack so for this reason here after e5 uh, and b4 nakamura played knight to a4 knight to a4 moving away from the threat so now the uh, knight on the f3 is under attack so now dubov has to move this knight knight to d5 now by dubov attacking the bishop on the e3 queen to f3 guarding the bishop and now knight capture on e3 grabbing the bishop pair advantage queen capture on e3 and now a5 by dubov here the engine says that uh, rook to d8 more a good idea better than a5 because by uh, rook to d8 uh, not all of the white uh, two castles into the queen side and if the white castle uh, castle in the uh, on the king side so to, uh, by f4 and also by e5 push then the king side is too weak uh, and it will not be too safely placed for the king so rook to d8 was the best move at this position, but uh, Dubov didn't play that move, and he played another idea, and it is a5. a5, I want to grab more space on the queen side, okay? Castles are on the queen side by uh, Nakamura, and now queen to a7 offering to uh, trade the queens. Nakamura declined that offer, and he played queen to e4. He said, uh, I have... Uh, nice, uh, I have nice space on the middle. Also, my bishop 
uh, place it perfectly on the B3 on the A2 G8 diagonal on, on your king's diagonal so something like so I will play uh, some maneuvers by my queen something like queen to E4 attacking the pawn on the c6 also queen to c4 comes with uh, a threat on your pawn on the f7 so now i will not uh, i'm not interested about uh, exchanging the queens okay queen to e4 now uh, attacking the c6 pawn and now simply bishop to f5 attacking the queen and a queen to c4 by nakamura because here if you capture the pawn on the c6 then queen to e3 comes queen to e3 check and i will grab the f4 in pawn in the next move so for the season here after bishop to f5, Nakamura played queen to c4, okay, queen to c4 attacking the pawn on the f7, queen to b, queen to e3 check first, and after king to b1, bishop back to e6 attacking the queen again, and now Nakamura accepted the, uh, the to, uh, now Nakamura, Nakamura accepted to exchange the queens, okay, queen capture on d4, rook capture on d4, and now rook a to d8 give me the file please rook h to d1 i don't want to give you the file rook capture on d4 rook capture on d4 and now after rook capture on d4 nakamura uh, so you do both here played bishop back to c8 bishop back to c8 i want to develop my bishop uh, into another uh, diagonals because my bishop on the e3 is so uh, unuseful bishop i mean bishop back to c8 maybe something like bishop to a6 in the future will be a good idea on the f1 uh, a6 diagonal so after bishop to c8, Nakamura here played knight to b6, okay? Knight to b6 attacking the c8, or the light squares uh, uh, bishop, and now c5 comes by Dubov. c5 attacking the uh, rook on the d4. Rook back to d2, and now here uh, Dubov played a beautiful idea, and it is g5. g5, the idea here is uh, if you capture on the, uh, F, uh, on the g5, F capture on g5 then I will grab the e5 pawn to open the diagonal for my bishop because this bishop on the g7 he's, a, he's on the g7 since the move 5 and now we are uh, on the move 25 and this bishop still on the g7 doesn't do anything so we need to activate it what happened wait a minute uh, wait okay uh, we have to activate this bishop so for the season here g5 is a good idea and this is the best move in this position here uh, after g5 uh, nakamura played rook to d5 rook to d5 and uh, rook to d5 wasn't actually th wasn't the best move at this position why nakamura's idea here is if you capture on the f4 and this is what happened in the game i will capture on the c5 okay uh, attacking your bishop and when you move your bishop to anywhere then i will grab uh, the a5 pawn and by this the white will be up a pawn and being up a pawn in the end games it's meaning uh, 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 it's meaning a lot i mean the pawn in the end game is so 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 expensive <laughs> piece okay so here after rook to c5 uh, but the problem by rook to c5 is that uh, by this you gave the black the 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 the, the only open file uh, in the board and this is the d file here after rook capture on c5 uh the wolf pushed f3 f3 a beautiful idea the idea here if you capture uh, example rook capture on c8 then rook capture on c8 comes and after a uh, knight capture on c8 then uh, f uh, sorry pawn capture uh, on g2 comes uh, g1 is the next move and there's no way to prevent this uh, threat so for this reason you cannot capture on the c8 here uh, and if you capture on, on the f3 and this is what happened in the game now by uh, g capture on f3 now the h3 pawn is unprotected so h capture on g3 played by uh, dubov rook capture on a5 okay the white here won a pawn but as we said he gave the only open file on, on this board and it is uh, the d file and here immediately to both goes to that file by rook to d8 okay a4 let's start to uh, push our passive pawns uh, b capture on a3 b capture on a3 and now uh, e6 and e6 is so important move uh, at this position why because here uh, if you didn't play e6 and you play something like let's say h5 you don't you want to push your passive pawns uh, then bishop to d uh, then bishop to d5 comes now uh, okay now maybe bishop to d5 now is uh, not the best idea but the, the idea is sorry here not here the idea is if this bishop plays it on the d5 square so he will control the a8 square for his a, a pawn 
okay also uh, after f4 he will control the h1 square for the black spawn okay so this bishop on this diagonal will be so strong a place in this end game so so strong piece in this end game okay so for this season here the wolf pushed e6 e6 closing the a2 uh, g8 diagonal also not all of this bishop to comes into the d5 square and not all of him to control this diagonal okay so e6 by Dubov and now uh, king to a2 comes king to a2 moving away from the first rank from any checks uh, on the d1 square in the future and now after uh, king to a2 here h5 played by Dubov h5 I want to push uh, I want to push my passive pawn too here Nakamura said let's play rook to a4 not allow him to push h4 okay but the problem by rook to h4, uh, rook to a4 is that this rook let the protect of the e5 square. So bishop capture on e5 by Dubov. And here the problem that if you play something like rook to h4, here um, Nakamura played rook to e4, okay? And this is the best move here. If you play something like uh, rook to h4, then rook to d1 comes. Rook to d1, the, the threat is uh, rook to a1 checkmate, so you cannot capture on the h3. And here if you cleared uh, the b3 square for your king. Example, if you played here something like uh, bishop back, uh, no, not bishop back, what, uh, what I'm doing. Bishop to c4, okay. Then bishop back to f5 comes. Bishop back to f5 threatening the pawn on the c4. And here if you play something like rook to h5 says okay now if you capture on he cannot capture on the c2 because simply he will lose his uh, bishop on the e5 but the problem here that the black not forced to capturing on the c2 and he has this strong line and it is rook to a1 check and after king to b3 then rook to b1 check comes and after uh, king to a2 or to a4 then the white will lose his uh, knight on the b6 square so for this season here uh, where after bishop capture on e5 something like rook to h4 doesn't work so here nakamura played rook to e4 rook to e4 attacking the bishop bishop back to f6 not all of this uh this rook to comes into the h4 square anymore and now rook back and now here after uh, rook to f6 rook back to e1 rook back to e1 trying to prevent uh, to preventing uh and trying to stopping the h uh, pawn okay here after rook to e1, uh, Nakamura pushed h4, okay, we have a passed pawn, we just push it, h4 now by Nakamura, by Dubov, sorry, and now rook to g1 check by Nakamura, king to f8, and now after king to f8, knight to c4, let's, uh, I need, to, we need to bring this knight into the queen side to stop this h pawn, but here simply Dubov played bishop back to f8, uh, opening the, uh, opening the way for the h pawn to move, okay. Bishop back to f8 and here rook to h1 trying to stopping the h pawn. Rook to d4 now by Dubov. Rook to d4 putting a pressure on the c4 knight. Also, rook to f4 comes with a threat on uh, the f3 pawn. How you prevent all of these threats? There is no way to prevent all of these threats. Here after rook to d4 knight back to e3 played by Nakamura attacking the uh, the right squares bishop. Bishop back uh, to g6 simply. We don't giving bishop. Sorry. We don't giving bishops, sorry, uh, Nakamura. And now a4 by Nakamura trying to make his passive pawns, uh, trying to push his passive pawn on the queen side. Bishop to h5 played by Dubov, attacking the pawn on the f3. a5 now by Nakamura. Now he is trying to protect the pawn by something like rook to f1 doesn't work because simply I have, I can bring the other rook, uh, my rook to, to, attack, uh, to attack this pawn and you cannot uh, add it more defenders. Also, your rook need uh, to keep an eye on my h pawn okay so uh, here a5 played by nakamura bishop capture on f3 attacking the rook rook to f1 attacking the bishop rook to f4 uh, guarding the bishop and now a6 by nakamura trying to make something on the queen side but now here simply uh do both played bishop to d4 bishop to d4 attacking uh, the knight on the e3 and the problem here if you move this knight to anywhere something like knight to c4 then h3 comes h3 h2 h1 comes and how you prevent this the problem here that uh, if you push uh, i mean my bishop controlling that square okay so pushing something like a7 doesn't work because i have h2 and if you push uh, 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 a8 and queen then bishop capture on a8 comes even if you capture my rook then i will play simply queen to h1 and i will queen and you cannot prevent all of this so for this season here after bishop to d4 
and uh, here uh, Nakamura didn't move his bishop, uh, his knight, sorry, and he played rook to e1 trying to guarding the knight, but simply uh, Nakamura, uh, Dubo finished this game by rook to e4, and it was at this position that Hikaru Nakamura simply designed the game. Now why Nakamura designed the game? Because now you cannot move your knight to anywhere. If you move it, simply you will lose your rook. Uh, and and it, uh, attack it twice, or even if you play something like knight to g2, uh, guarding the rook, but this doesn't work because simply I can capture it and my bishop uh, uh, protecting my rook, and also this bishop controlling the uh, a8 uh, uh, the a8 square. Also, my bishop, the other bishop controlling the a7 square. So this bishop cannot push it anymore, and h3, h2, h1 comes, and there is no way to prevent all of these threats. So for the season here after rook to e4, it was at this moment that Ikaro Nakamura simply designed the game. So yeah, this is the game. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this game, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and subscribe. Also, you can check out my previous videos. Uh, and uh, if you want to support us, you can support us on Patreon. The link is below the video. And see you in the next videos.